pinky, we stand on the threshold of world domination. You have a choice. You can listen closely and provide assistance, or you can find your head compressed inside a walnut shell. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a good feather. You see, if you were a good feather, you had it all. You were a somebody in a neighborhood full of nobodies, like Bobby and Pesto. Those guys were my heroes. The all-city academic competition. For one competition, even your sister Olga couldn't win. Still got the blank space on the shelf where I was going to put the trophy. Would have been the ground jewel in the Pataki Trophy Kingdom. Due to the sudden rash of criminals displaying strange transformations and unusual powers, it appears that a nefarious new crime wave is underway. Your assignment? Find out how and where these criminals are getting their powers and put a stop to it before Metro City is brought to its keys. Why would anyone want to bring Metro City to its keys? Here's your assignment, Gadget. Never mind that, Gadget. Read your assignment. Oh, maybe I should go on a diet. Imagine you stowing away and stealing a licensed starship. Oh, it's so romantic, it gives me the shivers. <laughs> I don't care how much trouble I get in. I needed to feel my lips pressed against your lipless beak. I can't stand having a whole universe between us. I've been thinking a lot about this, and, well, would you move in with me? You will be destroyed! Gruesome death awaits us all! Doom! Yeah, and then I'll introduce him to my best friend. Clamp number one! Sorry, Toots. Ooh, I think there was something funny in that hippie. People of Earth! Ooh, that hippie's starting to kick in. We've all learned an important lesson today. I realize now that, dude, my hands are huge. I heard him. Would you like to borrow my glasses? All right, huddle up. If we shift our line 12.3 degrees to the right while faking left, pass the ball diagonally to the axis of movement at precisely the speed of light, while converging from all possible points on the nuclear perimeter, the opposing defense should collapse completely. Hello, I'm Orson Welles. What follows is a terrifying journey into the world of magic, mystery... Mr. Wells, this is a video will. What? Look, I don't need to do this. I've got a fish stick commercial in an hour. Oh, what the hell? I need the money. What follows is a terrifying journey into the world of probate, beneficiaries, and goblins. How about a little Kellogg's for group cereal? Where to next, boys? Yes, my children. The kids next door are finished forever! <laughs> Go clean out the animal pens. This place smells like a poo museum! Aww. These kids today always whining about getting pets, but do they clean up after them? No! VCA goes to... Flush yourself down a peepee hole. Your toilet paper coming through the head. This is a family show, Potty Mouth. Now this is riding in style. Excuse me, Mr. Critic? Eh? Mortimer, you're the critic? Um, uh, well, uh, of course I am. And you better give me whatever I want, or I'll write you a bad critic. Give me all your money and no one gets blasted to smithereens. Smithereens. She ain't gonna know what that is. These are city folk. Hmm. Maybe bits. Blasted to bits. That's got a ring to it. Of course, it's a squirt gun. Come on, Sam. Don't doubt yourself. Blasted to bits it is. But the girl thing eyeballs sing. Here you go. Here's the bucket. 60. Hi ho ho. Found me. Thanks. Uh, sneezy, dopey. I decided to search the kitchen. My cheese sandwich needed some mustard. Ah! Come on, mustard, where are you? Mm. You come here unannounced on the day my daughter is to be married. Mm. I trusted you, Nikki. 
I welcomed you into my home. We broke bread together. Grandmama made you a cannoli. And how did you repay my generosity? With a rug made from the butt of a skunk. A skunk butt rug. Princess Twilight Sparkle. I am Chancellor Naysay. Equestria owes you a great debt. But princess or no, we expect you to do things by the book. You may have beaten my bronze blitzers, but there is one more bronze statue in this state for me to control. Cody Burns, Griffin Rock PD. Please pull over. Figured you'd want to say goodbye to the old rust bucket. Trick or treat. Have you considered cutting the power? With the emergency on-off switch the aliens installed just moments ago. Your little comedy act would be better appreciated in detention. Come on, where can a guy like me go and win a medal? I don't think such a game exists, Ralph. Oh, come on, you know people. There's got to be. Need a root beer. Coming. Hold that thought. The Film Actors Guild believes that what the world needs is compassion, not violence. All that Team America does is create new enemies. Oh, hello, Daddy. Hello, Princess. Oh, it's true. I did it to myself. It's reform school cupcake, not jail. Although, admittedly, it is a lot like jail. Humans? Ha! I'm almost human myself! Except for my feathers. And my beak. And my wings. And, and my scrawny legs. And, of course, the fact that I can fly. Oh, no. Order. We always get the worst end of it with her. You look just like Mum. Shut up, you. My, they certainly are an animated bunch. Closer, you fool. Can't you see it's a trap? Look, son, we got company. <laughs> Let's give him a proper Dr. Cat welcome. Well, what do you know? That's what every cat wants. Breakfast in bed. A few days ago, I got the distinct impression that I wasn't alone in this house. There are others here lurking in the shadows. Do I have a temper? Yes. Have I yelled at my wife for throwing a bowling ball at a guy? Yes. Does that make me a mob boss? See, now, Harv, I'm counting on you. I'd hate to think what could happen if you couldn't get me out of here. Well, I think you used too much. Some insurance forms, maybe. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo-hoo. Oh, boy. My uniform? Oh, goody! Someone's finally here to buy me! Sorry, no charge! Cash only! Shut up! Magilla, now's your chance! Speak your mind, my friend! He <laughs> don't mind if I do! Oh. He was a good little bear. Until... Uh, the uh, park got a corporate sponsor. Hey, 
Did he just call me boy? This is humiliating. I'm not gonna contract rabies. I'm an upstanding citizen. Why they love protecting them? Ain't nothing but floating meat facts. Huh. Said the government had no business telling me how I should live my life. Up and at him, at him, man. The EPA condemned my home. They say it's filled with radioactive waste. Every day the government issues a new restriction, chipping, chipping away at a right guaranteed by the Constitution. We late for school if you don't. Whoa! Now just hold on. Me Sunday, what? Whoa! Now just a second. That's me boy is are talking about. Wonka Factory Tour now leaving. Up this way. No, it's that way. You're lost. Here we are. You mean the loud thud of a mannequin falling over? Sounds like a job for the guy who's always telling the other guy he's boss, but it's clear that the other guy should be the boss, and that creates a lot of workplace tension. Don't resist meddling in my affairs, could you? Alas, you are too late. Behold the ultimate victory of doom. Your companion is in grave danger. He will not survive unless I assist him. Have you ever seen a flower die? Watched something that was once so beautiful, so full of life, collapse. Welcome to Flyer's Education. Are you joining us? I'll make those planet snoops clam up. Permanently. Vinay, Doctor, now turn it on. I need the juice. Can I help you? Mr. Seville. My name is Talbot. Lawrence Talbot. I'm your new neighbor. Your <clears throat> kids just trampled all over an irreplaceable specimen of aconitum planted in my flower bed. Attention, please. You are all our prisoners. To save time, I suggest you don't run around screaming and make us chase you. No one ever listens. Get him! Oh, yeah, he's <laughs> Even my god's laughing. I am the Grand Master Wizard of Ceremonies. And now, the rules. Contestants will fight each other with spells from the eight schools of magic. I am a truth seer. When people lie, their heart rate and breathing increase. I can sense the most subtle of changes. So, what is not adding up exactly? <laughs> Seeing us, sir, how may we serve your royal greatness? Your wish is our command, sir. You have only to ask your amazingness. What I want from you is for you to swear to my service. Oh, yes, your most powerfulness. Oh, we are deeply flattered, but uh, you see, sir, we are independent contractors. Now that I have your attention, it is time you found out who you are, Prince Sonic. Prince? Yes, Prince Sonic. And you are not alone in your quest. You also have a brother and a sister. <laughs> what? Johnny, it's gonna be all right, Johnny boy. It'll take all your speed to get through that prototype shield robotics foot, now, Johnny. Yes, it is I, Embryo. My name sounds like Fetus. <laughs> No doubt you all remember me as the creator of the Evolvo Ray. Safe. Mm, Pearl Big Head. Tack, someone will hear you. Hear what you said? Oh, uh, I just, uh, ch uh, choked on some hot air. Tack, you call Locke a Big Head? A Big Head? Shame. Out, out, scamper, out. What are you nominated for? Best performance by a kid pretending to be a grown-up? Mm, not if you're meeting Queen Elizabeth. 
Ride 'em cowgirl. Yo, taxi! Hey, excuse me for living several hundred years. Oh, it will have them. A new opportunity has presented itself. One I never even dreamed of. Let's just say we're keeping this job in the family. <laughs> we are ever so grateful for your assistance. These are strangely peaceful times in Gotham City. Crime has virtually disappeared overnight. As too much quiet makes Batman restless, we are using this downtime to test a new communication system. Thanks for coming on such short notice. We're doing our best to keep this Riddler business under wraps to avoid a panic. I must congratulate you, Batman. Sometimes I forget you've got a bit of brains to go with all the brawn and gadgets. Raimundo, for riches and glory, you betrayed us all. Whatever it takes, Raimundo, the sash of a Shaolin apprentice, it is yours. Boris, they'll stop grouping if you just go away and let me get some rest. <clears throat> Boris, dreams don't mean anything. They're just dreams. <sighs> now, you want to come with me? I have to go check on Jenna. Jack, you know what you can do now to make ends meet? Wrench, wrench your front teeth out as a billboard. I'm going to finish you off, Lady Jacks, because right now I want to bring up the one and only Santa Claus. Wahoo! Hoo. Well, Easter Rabbit quits. I mean, this certainly is hair-raising news. You know, a lot of people come to me and they say, Steve, how can you be so gosh darn lucky? Problem solved. I just bought your building. What? You mean you're our landlord, robot. That means this is my house. And you have to follow my rules. Wait, I'm miserable. But you smile all the time. My face gears are broken. I can't stop smiling. You know how horrible it is to live like this? Ah! I remember when these guys liked me. Feeling grim? Try a punch in the face! Can you change into anything besides a loser? Cooper Commander, I found this in my hovercraft. I am on the side. He is indeed, Commander. <laughs> By the way, Scoop, how is it that you knew exactly where to find both the Dragonfire and Cobra Commander? Welcome to Sorcerer's Mesa, Sergeant Slaughter. It is the last of the Dragonfire sites that Cobra wants to capture. No one gives orders to Serpentor! Four, three, two... <sighs> you will suffer for this! The man was barely alive and was rushed to the nearby UCLA hospital. Only upon arrival did doctors realize that this man, an unassuming actor, was the voice of Bugs Bunny. The chances of his survival were a thousand to one. Mel Blanc, the most recognizable voice in the world, faced the greatest challenge of his life. But that's not all, folks. I get paid for doing. 